to those of you who would say that this country is better going in a direction of pure socialism, I ask you as a Native American, you've already placed us on reservations. Why place the rest of the country on one? My name is Michaela Larray. I was born in Bishop, California, and I'm a member of a Southern California Native American tribe. In 1989, Native American activist Russell Means sat before the Senate, and he boldly paraphrased, if you want to see an example of failed socialism, go to an Indian reservation. If you go to Indian reservations these days and in the past, you will see impoverished reservations living in third world conditions, and they are a product of a dependent lifestyle, dependent on a government to appropriate funds correctly to them. That is what socialism is. That is where socialism will take us. And it will create a dependent society to where we have no independence anymore on what we can do and what we can't do. The government programs that are in place now to help the Native American, they didn't even need to be there in the first place. If they had let us keep our land and let us keep our way of life, we could have flourished as a people. But instead, the government thought it was best to place us on reservations and strip all of our, all of our freedoms away, one by one. And now we are dependent on those programs. Many of us have become addicted to the federal wallet. We sit and wait for the whims of appropriations from Congress. And unfortunately, that's killing us. To increase the tens of billions of dollars that we already have going towards Native American programs, which there are a lot, how would that solve anything at this point? These programs have been in place for a long time, and yet we still can go to a reservation today and ask them if they have running water. No. Electricity? No. Sewage? Quality health care, quality education, all of these things are missing. So how much more money and how many more programs do we need before we find our self-determination and start fixing these things on our own? Government programs, more programs, that's not the answer. The answer is independence in every way of life for us, for my people. It's something that we need to tackle to remain an asset to this country. Indianpreneurship means that we promote a lifestyle of entrepreneurship for the Indian. Examples would be in Oregon where four tribes have banded together to create a nonprofit fund to promote business plans and knowledge on creating business. Another would be in Alaska where they are taking advantage of the Section 8 Small Business Loan Act program and they are providing goods and services to the federal government. Many natives fear the aspect of adopting capitalism in the modern day as they might lose their culture or their way of life. And I say to you, is there any pride in letting the government take care of us day to day? Is there any culture in that? Is that how we were before the white man came to our land? Is that how we should be now? We've been doing that for hundreds of years and it's solved absolutely nothing. So it's time for a new way of life and new traditions to when we look to ourselves to create. We look to ourselves for funding. We look to ourselves for the basic necessities of life. So to those of you who would say that this country is better going in a direction of pure socialism, I ask you as a Native American, you've already placed us on reservations. Why place the rest of the country on one?